Hey, okay, so many of you have been asked, well, actually not many, it was just one person, but, you know, I can't back down from what I said before. So basically, um, the software that I got, it's for iOS only, just keep in mind, because uh, I don't really have an Android, I don't use Android. But what I use is Node Video, and uh, I don't really want to pay for the watermark, so I don't go mini mode. Other than that, you could use mini mode if you're willing to pay, but I use pro mode because, you know, I'm pro, I'm pretty cool guy. So, uh, basically what you would do is just go the uh, video, just get your stuff ready. Uh, I already have mine, but just choose yours. Then, uh, the thing is, you're going to want to go to the, the blue bar that you see at the top and hit the three bars. There we go. After that, you, got, you go to time interpolation and optical flow 3.1. This allows you to uh, frame mix or motion blur. And that's what you're gonna wanna click on. Length and dispersion, I always keep it down low because then it looks like uh, liquidy water. You don't wanna turn it up too high. So usually I go for things like 0.5 or at least 0.4. And yes, it does, uh, the performance warning does come along, but don't worry because when you export the video, it, it's gonna come out like very smooth. Don't worry, that, that it doesn't delay. You've already seen my other test before. So let's just skip to a part. There we go. So it just plays out as normally, but as you can see, it looks very, very blurry. If I don't want it to be like that, I can always lower it by going back. So I'm just gonna be doing that right now. Point two. There we go. The less feathering, I guess you could say, the less liquidy it looks. So that's pretty much it. And uh, all you gotta do if as I can't speak. Okay. So, if you want to export it, you just basically go to use, uh, the button next to the home button at the bottom left corner, export it, and then it doesn't matter, you could choose wh whichever resolution and all that. And then after that, uh, I don't care, the FPS, you might want to change it to 60 or 55 because it's a lot easier to export, although it takes longer. It takes really long considering that this uh, Node video is one of the most powerful uh, things uh, things out there the most powerful editing software so you got to be careful with that as you can see something like that for me takes like about an hour or something I can't even tell uh, you see there we go six minutes and it's a very short clip it's it's very short meaning that it take it's gonna take quite a while but either way that's gonna be it um, I hope you like I guess you, you could say enjoy the video um, uh, that's pretty much it goodbye